Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to break down NHL 98 for the PlayStation 1. So we've seen our first generation jump when we went from NHL 96 and the Sega Genesis to the to NHL 97 on the PlayStation 1. Now I do need to mention that Super Nintendo and Sega both made NHL 97 and 98 versions, uh, but again, I'm not going to review those because I want to do from the generation jump as again, I think it prepares us the most for NHL 22. Now, NHL 97, I deemed as the worst game potentially ever for NHL. The gameplay was just unbearably bad. The graphics were just way too ahead of its time going from the 2D sprites on Sega and Super Nintendo to the 3D polygons. While it was ambitious, it just ended up being a headache to look at. Like I legitimately got a headache trying trying to watch and play that game for more than just one single game. It didn't offer any new features, and like I said, all it did was do the 2D sprite jump to the 3D polygons. Now, NHL 98 offers a little bit of hope, and I'm excited to go over it and see what additions and changes they made in that game. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And if you do enjoy these videos, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for the most up-to-date NHL content. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so here we are, NHL 98, and as you can see, a lot more of a flashy or dark menu screen as we load into it here. Uh, just going over the modes like we always do, so we've got exhibition, new season, new playoffs, new tournament, so in this year, you can actually make a tournament and choose basically whoever you want. You could do NHL teams or international teams. That was pretty popular back uh, in the day. So one of the biggest features added in NHL 98 was the coaching strategy, so now you are actually able to set everything in terms of how your team played. So no longer is it just the rush down the ice and basically the same thing happens over and over again. You can actually now, we're starting to get a sense of playing the game and setting some things up. And it's always just so funny to look at because there's always more options in NHL 98 than there is in NHL 21. Uh, it's the thing that I harp on the most, uh, the fact that, you know, in, back in the early 2000s, we basically have the same strategies that we have now. Uh, but in this one, we've got uh, positional, funnel, combination, triangle, and then you can do power play and defensive ones as well. So that is uh, one of the bigger things that change in NHL 98 is the actual introduction of just, you know, actual coaching strategies that work. Another big thing in NHL 98 is custom teams. So you can go to custom teams and you can make two new uh, teams to actually put into the game. So you can go and poach some of your favorite players from all over the place and put them into your squad. So you could make those new rosters and, and change it however you want. Now, just taking a look at the teams that are currently in NHL 98. This is, a, this is the year before the Nashville Predators. Uh, so you've got the Detroit Red Wings. One thing I don't like at all is the overall bar. They use this for a couple seasons. And I would much rather just have the overall number. Um, this is uh, kind of a misrepresentation. It's hard to tell, really, back in the day how good a player was. Obviously, he was all the way at the end. Obviously, he's a perfect player. But I just wasn't a huge fan of that. Got the Edmonton Oilers, the Florida Panthers, the LA Kings. I believe this is the last year they used uh, their Chevron logo. Got the Montreal Canadiens, the New Jersey Devils. The New York Islanders now no longer using the Fisherman logo. We've got the New York Rangers, the Ottawa Senators. You see Danny Alfredson. Uh, man, that was a huge era for me when I was a kid. The Danny Alfredson, Alexi Ash, and Senators. We've got the Philadelphia Flyers, who are stacked. The Phoenix Coyotes, the Pittsburgh Penguins, the St. Louis Blues. I believe this is the first year or the last year of the red in their logo. The San Jose Sharks, the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Toronto Maple Leafs, and the Vancouver Canucks now using that... Uh, um, the uh, the whale logo, Washington Capitals with that eagle, which is again one of my favorites, and then just going the other way, we've got the Dallas Stars, the Colorado Avalanche, the Chicago Blackhawks, and I believe this is the first year of the Carolina Hurricanes. I can't remember if they were in '97 or not, but there is the Carolina Hurricanes moving over from Hartford, the Calgary Flames, the Buffalo Sabres the Boston Bruins, and the Anaheim Ducks. So let's take a look at the franchise mode. Again, I think this is the most important mode to look at in every game just because back in the day, other than just couch play, you really had only offline stuff to do and regular season and being a GM is pretty much it. So we'll start as the San Jose Sharks and just take a look at how things look in NHL 98. Remember in NHL 97, it was damn near impossible to like read anything that was in the menus because it was just so pixelated a little bit more flushed out here now in nhl 98 not so pixelated and well uh yeah like i said just a little bit of a cleaner menu here i made the joke looking at the calendar screen in nhl 97 and it literally being just a, a mess of pixels and being almost unreadable a lot better looking here in nhl 98 
Taking a look at the controls for NHL 98, it did add some new things. First of all, the signature shot and, or sorry, the signature uh, shot. If you hit triangle, certain players would do different things. So there'll be like a spinorama shot or, um, you know, just a quick wrist shot for some of the players that have low deking. Um, but it was a nice addition. However, you'll see in game, it really didn't do too much, but it was a nice, you know, a small addition that, that was, that was okay. Another big thing in NHL 98 is the, this is the first year that you could actually speed burst on offense before speed burst was only limited to when you didn't have the puck and it was on defense. Now speed burst is, uh, is able to be done on offense. All right, let's get into a game and see what the gameplay looks like. And again, you see before the game, launches it shows all the stats and whatnot but it's that overall bar and it's just very difficult to tell what is better if it's close Jim Houston with me for this game is Daryl Ray. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get to the action. And so a huge addition to the game in the franchise is the play-by-play -play and color commentary. Getting Jim Houston, not going to lie, he is one of my favorites to ever be on the broadcast of an NHL game. And it's nice to hear him, and it actually does add a ton to the game. The one thing I will say is with the addition of speed bursts on offense, it made the game feel a lot faster, and you could actually, you know, move around a little bit quicker it didn't feel as clunky as it did in nhl 97 so i will say that is a big plus the hitting is still phenomenal in this game it is always really fun back in the early games because they were just so over the top i will say that as well as we go with marty mcsorley here the camera angles early on uh just the default one is awful because you can't see the other side of the ice and again that's just all i'm using because it is the default one the, the majority of people used pickups are vastly improved as well in this one and a two line pass i bet there is a lot of my viewers that don't even re remember a time when that was in the game <laughs> another big addition to this game is uh shot deflection so you could actually execute a shot deflection um to actually knock the puck in that was never in the game prior to this year Couple of big saves there. Saved by Rudy. Sutter misses the pass. The physics in the game, if it if the puck did hit you, it no matter what stops. So I will say that. It does seem a little um blocky. But no matter what, if it hit you, it wasn't getting through. But it, you know. There was times where obviously the, the player the box of the player and the actual animation probably shouldn't have it probably should have gone through. Uh, but it, it's not it, it makes it feel a little bit better It also had the ref actually drop the puck whereas in NHL 97 that didn't happen It just was the floating puck era early on So what we're gonna do like we do every single review is take a look at the first game of the generation that being NHL 97 and compare it to the game that we're currently looking at and it is I mean, it's pretty staggering when you see it side by side. The ice specifically, we're starting to see, you know, it be a little bit more clear. You're starting to get a lot cleaner than what we had, especially in 97. But again, 97, in my opinion, on the PlayStation, just one of the worst NHL games ever made. So the bar is set pretty low. But 98 definitely improves upon just, you know, it being a little bit smoother and the ice specifically making a big jump. Uh, in this one specifically. So while NHL 98 doesn't offer any huge features in terms of like modes or anything like that, it does improve upon what's already in the game. Obviously, this is the first year that we're getting a sense of what it is going to look like away from the 2D era in Sega and Super Nintendo, which is a huge plus because NHL 97, like I said, just seemed to be too early in the development stage of video games back in the day. NHL 98, we finally get to see what the power of these new consoles can do, and it gives us a really good glimpse of just the graphical improvement back in the late 90s. Gameplay felt far better. In my opinion, this is one of the best games made 
from the start of the franchise. So if we go back and we're doing like a ranking so far, if you've watched all my review videos, I would say NHL 95 is still the best because of everything that it added into the game. And then NHL 94 because of how historic and really the addition of like the one-timer and things like that did. It's an iconic game. And then honestly, in third would be NHL 98. I think that the graphics make a staggering improvement in NHL 98. And that's really important. You can't discredit that because you got to think back in the day, going from NHL 97 to 98, it looks like five-year difference in terms... It looks like completely different systems. If you see side-by-side side, like we just saw, it doesn't look like they're the same system at all. So uh, a huge improvement there for NHL 98. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And please give the video a like if you did enjoy it. I will see you guys tomorrow for NHL 99.